tell me you're scared You tell me you're weak But I know you're stronger Than what you think Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. In today's video, as you can see, it's starting off with some laundry motivation. We had so much laundry to get done and honestly, it's the next weekend and I already have more laundry. There is laundry galore. It never stops, seriously, it never stops. Um, but my little helper wanted to help me with the laundry today. I always love giving him these little tasks to help me with dishes or help me with the laundry or whatever else we have going on for the day I always love him helping me out and just getting used to doing these little things so he can be capable of it because he is he's only two but he can do these little small things so he is helping me with the laundry we put a load in the washer and he is also going to help me transfer it all to the dryer and just continue on I do not force him if he wants to go he is allowed to go and I will do it myself he will walk away a little bit throughout like this little bit um, and that is totally fine but when he wants to help of course I also let him help so it's just whatever he wants to do but he was so sweet and obviously wanted to help me put it into the dryer so that is what we are doing so this little bit will just be laundry motivation so I hope that you enjoy all of that and then I will also be making a homemade butternut squash dinner in this video that is the little recipe that I am sharing with you and then in the last video um, I made a spooky for Kasha bread and I will be warming that up in today's video and we will be eating that with some burna squash soup that I make for dinner. So I hope that you enjoy this video. There's lots of laundry motivation. I share all the folding at the end so stay tuned for that and then there's also that burna squash soup recipe that I share with you all. Now that I got a few loads done with my son, um, I am now going to head upstairs and tidy up the kitchen so that I can start making dinner. I always love to cook in a clean kitchen, but this kitchen was pretty messy, so I did need to tidy up a little bit. And then once it was tidied, I did start getting started on dinner. It was about time for dinner, so I made sure I wanted to have a little bit of time before cooking to clean it up and then start cooking it.
Also, here are the ingredients you will need for this recipe, and I will have the recipe down in the description. I am now going to get started on chopping up all of the produce. I do start off with the butternut squash because butternut squash is not an easy vegetable to chop up. And I do have a plastic gallon bag next to me so I can keep all of its discards in that plastic bag. And I will talk about that um, soon in the video where you will understand why I'm doing that. Sorry, it's so loud down here. You guys, I hope you can hear me. Um, I wanted to share with you, so we have been building up a stockpile of our discard um, fruits and vegetables, not really fruits, but just like vegetables. So like onions, garlics, broccoli, uh, bell peppers, mushrooms, tomatoes, um, butternut squash, all the types of zucchinis and squashes. So we have really just like been building up for months with these gallon bags just filled with discards. So I just filled this one up fully with baronet squash that I'm using tonight for dinner. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys how full our deep freezer is. We just got this deep freezer um, probably around like April, I believe, and it's this big, um, pretty big, not huge though. Uh, but there is some breads in here. This one I made last night. You guys saw this in the last video that I posted. Um, and then there's more bread and some puree, as you can see. But also all down here, I'm going to set these down really quick. Um, all down here are more bags of just um, leftover discard vegetables and then some tomatoes so we can make our own tomato spaghetti sauce I have shared a video with you guys um, making homemade spaghetti sauce from our own tomatoes as well um, and then we have more bread and more puree um, pumpkin so we can just freeze it and defrost it I mean and use it in anything and then lots of tomatoes but there are so many bags down here filled with like bread and tomatoes but so much more of just um, leftover veggies that we have not used so we can make our own veggie broth. Um, I'm sorry it's loud once again but I just wanted to show you guys how seriously full it is and then these are like homemade pesto sauce with garlic and pine nuts and so much more so we really are filled to like the max but I just wanted to share with you guys how much we have and during like the winter the colder months we will use all this stuff it will be empty once again like there'll be bread and tortillas and stuff in it but for the most part it will be empty without all this discard and all the tomatoes because there'll be jars of spaghetti sauce and they'll be canned and then we will also have jars filled with veggie broth so a lot of this will be used but for right now it is so full and there is more to put in it with like the bread and we just have so much more we are making right now 
um, <laughs> to put into this deep freezer. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys how full this thing is and how much we are keeping to remake things to use the discard and just continue its life a little bit more. So now that I explained a little bit more about all of that and showed you our deep freezer, I am back upstairs and I am going to continue chopping up all of the produce. So I'm going to finish up this white onion that I'm using in this recipe, a couple of apples, and then I am going to cube up the butternut squash. We are dreamers of the Now that I am ready to start cooking everything, I am just going to let things saute and soften up. So like the apples and the banana squash need to soften up and then also the onions just need to brown up so they gotta cook. And then I'm going to add in like the vegetable broth, let that reduce it down and cook it down and soften it up and then just finish cooking it. It's a very simple, easy recipe. I will for sure be making this more often during like the colder months, especially if we have some bread on hand because it is such a yummy, delicious winter autumnal dinner. And like I said, it's very easy. And most of the ingredients I already have at home, um, except for like the butternut squash and like the apples, I would have to buy that. But everything else is pretty much already at home. So since my vegetables are still softening up in my instant pot, I did hurry and head downstairs into the laundry room to finish up my loads of laundry to put another one into the washer and put um, and take out my clothes in the dryer since they were all done and then I came back upstairs into the kitchen and they are all done softened up so I did just grab my neutral bullet and put everything in there so I can blend it into a puree normally I use my iner um, immersion blender but I did not want to put that into my instant pot that is very scary for me so I did just transfer it into my blender and then just puree it into my blender and then poured it back into my instant pot and it was super easy and it worked like a charm so that was an easy way to do it <laughs> Now that it is back in my instant pot, I am just throwing in all of the seasonings and spices. So, um, some nutmeg, cinnamon, salt, pepper, garlic powder. This does call for garlic, but I did not have any garlic on hand. So, I did just load it up with some garlic powder so I could give it some of that garlicky 
flavor um so that is all like the seasonings and spices i threw in here and then also some milk it did call for heavy cream but i did not have heavy cream on hand so i used oat milk and i think that just gave it a nice little touch of sweetness and it also made it a little bit more creamy so it all worked out and it was just so delicious so whatever you have and what you don't have just substitute it and it will always turn out perfect just for your family this recipe also called for chicken broth but instead of chicken broth i just used vegetable broth so it made it completely vegetarian and it worked out perfect so they're forced to crawl back into the dark As you can see from my last video as well, um, we are using our focaccia bread that we made for Halloween season. Um, so we are just going to warm it up in this oven, just on the warmer because we don't want to bake it anymore, just warm it up for our soup. But it looks so delicious. So now I am throwing in the focaccia bread and we still have so much more. We still have like two other bags of focaccia bread to eat. So we honestly have so much focaccia bread. This barely made a dent, but we ate it all up with our soup and the soup turned out so delicious. Like I said, I will for sure be making it more. And now I am going to serve dinner with the focaccia bread and the soup and it was so, so yummy. I did make Lucas a different dinner because I knew he he would not eat this he does eat a lot now we have tried a lot of different food options but I knew he would not eat this he would not like this maybe when he's a little older but right now it just he would not enjoy it so I made him some chicken tenders with some hot dogs and put ketchup on both of them and then I gave him something else but I don't remember <laughs> I really don't but that was pretty much his dinner it was super quick and easy and we just all ate as a family and it was so so yummy Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Ooh. Ooh. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty it is the next day now and um, I am finishing up the laundry. I knew that I did not really have time the other night after dinner to finish up the laundry. So I did just wait for the other day for the next day to come and finish up the laundry. Just finished folding it. So I am just in the room now and I'm going to finish up folding up all of the laundry. So I hope that you enjoy this laundry motivation. And if you have some laundry you need to fold or throw into the washer or dryer then I hope that you get that done along with me because this is a lot of laundry motivation and there is just so much to get done but I'm glad that this load of laundry was done I have a lot more like I said in the beginning to do so there will be more laundry motivation to come sometime soon in another video but for right now I hope you enjoy all this laundry motivation
what you wanna do And I won't go out on my own To see the world again But until then Well friends, this is about it. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video with the motivation and the cooking and the recipe. I will see you all again next time. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you can also follow my Instagram, Our Little Bloom. And don't forget to check the description because I'll leave that baronet squash soup recipe down below as well as like a focaccia bread recipe um, and some other videos that you can watch here on my channel if you are new here and want to see more. Um, I appreciate you all so much for being here and spending some time with me. Thank you so much. And like I said, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I hope that you check out more of my videos and more of what my channel is all about. And if you enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe to see more videos that I have coming soon in the future. And I can't wait to continue sharing more motivation, inspiration, and more creative videos with you all. Thank you so much for being here. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video, but I'll see you guys again next next time bye friends lay your head on my chest i know you've had a really bad day but i'm right here it's gone Fall down, it's gonna be okay The sun could go out, we're gonna be okay If all the blue skies fade to gray We're gonna be okay Calm your soul Hold my hand